you for watching this videos my name is Kamiya Simon uh, we're continuing with max script and today we're going to look at um, controlling the program flow uh, based on the documentation but they are simply talking about the condition statements the two most useful groups of commands are conditional statements and loop statements all right so uh, they are saying uh, we can reset the scene and this is one of the reasons <coughs> why I'm sticking on this because there is this command here in case you want to reset the whole scene so it's saying reset max file with no prompt so we're going to run that line of code and then shift enter alright so before I had items in here and now they are all going to serve reset the scene let me also right click and choose ways okay let me clear all let me first select all and then i clear all i delete all do the same here clear all come on clear all clear all so we're going to create a box now i am going to be copying this because now you know how to create a box not so you know how to create a box circle or that all right so they are providing a statement for us here they are providing a statement for us here and they are saying that if that box now i'm going to rename mine to simon if that box simon dot height has is is equivalent to 10 then make the width 20 okay all uh, for us we, we may do uh, another property we may do a wire color all right so let's write that statement there okay so the first thing I'm going to do I must change the name okay the first thing I'm going to do so my box is equal to that <clears throat> then that's a variable so simon dot box is that 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 shift enter to to create that and then they are saying that if okay if what if simon dot length okay so if i click on the box here and then i go to the modifier you see it has a length of 10 centimeters if simon dot length okay is equivalent hmm, equivalent double equals to 10 okay what should you have do this do what do simon dot scale so i'm going to make it big dot scale okay i'm going to scale it by three three all right simon dot scale is equal to three simon dot scale is equal to three okay i'm scaling three from all sides let me scale this to one maybe and then press shift enter to evaluate that line and you can see so this condition is determining that if the length is that okay do this now there is if do there is also if then okay so if the length is that okay then let the scale be that so i'm going to say simon dot wire color is equal to red okay so let me evaluate that so you can see that the condition is determining if the length is 10 so <clears throat> that is if then so we've already determined that the length is 10 so what if the length okay is is a certain number that is not provided for example let's say the length is 20 
all right so what do we want to do that's when the else statement comes in so if simon is equivalent this is equivalent not equal to equal to is this if simon is equivalent to 20 then simon dot color can be orange okay now take look take note at this all right so if i press um let me put the macro recorder up there okay now look at this if i evaluate that it's going to give me false up there okay um it has given me the color let me evaluate this line again sorry all right so it is saying that it's undefined reason why there is no there is the, the length is not 20 so what do we do that's when the else statement comes in else okay simon dot wire color is equal to what is it um is equal to blue okay so what this is simply saying it is saying that determine okay let me put the else on the other line it is simply saying that determine if simon dot length is equivalent to 20 not equal to no 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 is equivalent to 20 then make the wire color orange but if not so else say else if 20 does not exist with the length then set the wire color to be blue all right so let me select and evaluate all shift enter all right so you can see it has changed it to blue so that is called the if then else so we already looked at the if do okay we already looked at the if do let me do this if do okay we also looked at if then okay and then we have if then else so that's our set first set of the condition statements and there's there's more that we can do rather than changing colors as we we're going to see okay so thank you for watching this video let's meet in the other video